Here's a look at the tail of the tape. Both fighters coming in at 25 years old. You can see Davis has the height advantage and the slight reach advantage as well over Sadiq Youssef. Our referee on this one, Jason Herzog. First round, fighter, you ready? Yep. Fighter, you ready? Let's fight! Mike Beast Boy Davis, Super Sadiq Youssef. The fight is underway. Davis in the blue trunks, Youssef in the red. Already, nice calf kick from Sadiq, and looks to counter right over that jab slash hook of Mike Davis with that big right hand. That is what we got to look out for from Sadiq. Is a monstrous, clean overhand, and just pure boxing prowess from Mike Davis. Good jab. Covers up well. Ooh, nice right hand there from Davis. Man, is this everything I knew this was going to be? These guys are going to trade. They are swinging with intent here in the first round. And right in front of each other, too. Nice leg kick there from Sadiq. Another big right from Sadiq Youssef. He uses that early and often. Nice 3-2 there from Davis. Nice kick. You're just seeing the level. Both these guys are at a level where you could sign one of these guys no matter what. These guys have skills. Another calf kick there landed. Davis, remember, coming in here as the 3-1 to favorite. Beautiful question mark kick. Just, just missed there from Davis. That's it. Now, now we're seeing a little more feints out of Davis. I think that's smart. Whoa. Davis shakes it off, says you didn't hurt me with that, but that usually means you caught me right on the chin. There's just an aura about both of these guys. You, you can see that if they don't get the call here, it could be coming very soon. Yeah. They, you just, at this level, when we're on the contender series, you got some guys that are almost there, quite, not quite there, maybe overdue. This one, we're looking at two guys that have been absolutely killing it outside of the UFC. Yes. Jam there from Sadiq. It's funny, we, we talk about Davis being a three to one favorite. Uh, Vegas obviously Which, sees this different than we, we saw it coming. Surprised out. me, yeah. When, when I heard that today, I was like, wow. I mean, if you've seen Sadiq use a fight, he's like, oh. Both oh, fighters trading punches. Oh. Knee landed by Davis. Oh, man, I don't even know what to say. I'm, just, I'm watching this fight right now. You're watching it like a fan. This is so great. Both fighters laying in heavy hands. Trade the leather here in the first round as we are almost to the 2.30 mark. And look how relaxed both guys are. There's no extra tension right now. Both are loose until they have to explode and throw their beautiful body kick there from Davis. And again, Yusef sees unfazes. Davis checks that kick from Yusef. I think that's going to be smart for one of these guys. And Davis is already going for it. Attacking the body. Let's try to slow my opponent down. Don't hit hunt. Sadiq doing a little bit of backing up right now. I wonder if something got through and might have made him respect uh, Mike Davis a little more than he was in the beginning. And when you back a guy like Sadiq Yusuf up against the fence here, this is going to be dangerous. He knows he's got to get out of here. Big right away. He stuns him. Davis recovers. Seems to be okay. Got wobbled for a second. Oh, oh! He's trying to get a takedown. Smart move there from Davis. He's going to want to clinch up right now. He's hurt. Back to his feet. This is where we want to see if Mike Davis should pull out some wrestling chops right now because Yusuf's got him hurt right now. Oh. This is the uppercut. Lands a right and a left. There's the wrestling. Beautiful job from Mike Davis. But Yusuf doing a good job. He's using the guillotine. He's going to try to use that just to stand himself back up. Yeah, th th this is a smart move here from Mike Davis. He got rocked. Good Kimura attempt here from Yusuf. But if I was him, I'd let this go. Get rid of this. Get separation. Unless he's got this choke. Good job, Mike Davis. Squirrels out, but big right hand again. Mike Davis is hurt right now. He's standing up tall. 45 seconds here to go in the first round. Can Yusef get the finish? He hurt his calf there. That was a smart move from Sadiq. Instead of headhunting, he said, I'm going to take this leg out. He's not going to see this one coming. And that wobbled Mike Davis. Sadiq Yusef landing some 
bombs here. Nice late like the return yeah. grab from Mike Davis. Hey, what can I do? Hey. Just missed with that knee. Mike shakes his head. He knows he's in a fight tonight. Maybe Sadiq saw those Vegas odds and said, all right, I'm going to show you an uh, underdog. I think he might be right. Maybe he felt a little disrespected. Which I don't, I don't blame him. Another right as the first round comes to a close here from Super Sadiq Yusuf. Yeah. Holy smokes, action pack. Let's listen to the corners now. I know he's strong as fuck. Listen to me. You got to be smarter and stop trying to knock it out. I want you to be smarter, faster. Cut the angles. Take it. Okay? It's you. It's you. Oh, shit. So, listen to me. Forget about that shit. Forget about that stuff. Sit down. You got to check these. Listen to me. You got to check these picks. Here we go. Let's take a look at some of the handiwork of these exchanges between Mike Davis and Sadiq Yusuf. Both guys landing. Big knee to the body there from Mike Davis. But it was these right hands, which is the absolute power bomb that Sadiq Yusuf possesses. And he hunts and he sets it up so well with his right hand. That was just a short check hook there from Yusuf. And he had Mike. <laughs> I won't repeat what, what James Vick just said, but wow. That's what you want. That's what you want. Even if you're Mike Davis and maybe you lost that round. Trust me, Dana White's looking at him going, I could throw this guy on a short notice fight anytime. This kid's going to bring it. Both these guys, very impressive in the first round. Waiting to see what the second round brings. But look at the eyes, man. Ready? Look at, look at the ready? difference fight. between the posture of Sadiq Yusuf right Great now point. and Mike Davis. And all he said in his corner was how strong Yusuf was and how hard he hit. And his corner's trying to tell him, hey, forget that. Let's get him down then. Three first round finishes and five fights for Davis as he lands a right then an uppercut. Man, right back to it. Oh my God. Goes for the single leg, back up to his feet. Both fighters again, just like the first round, landing huge shots. I'm just sit back and watch. <laughs> I suggest everybody watching at home right now do, just do the same thing. Don't go get a drink. Don't go get your popcorn. No time for that now. This is a fight right now. You mentioned in the first round you thought Yusuf may have hurt his calf. Yep. He's gone for a couple of calf kicks here early in the second as well. Yeah, he needs to get back to his jab, get back to his feints. He's got a little bit of swag going. That's smart. Get Mike Davis thinking, oh, I'm going to headhunt. I'm going to throw this big bomb and chop that calf. because That's definitely affecting Mike Davis right now. Mike Davis, 5-0 with oh, five knockouts. He's never lost He's as a pro work. or an amateur. This is the most he has ever been tested. Yeah, yeah I mean, which is what these guys coming in right now. Oh, nice leg kick. That's what they should be expecting, though. That's why you're here. That's why you're fighting for a UFC contract. Oh, man, any one of these punches lands clean. Yusuf just keeps working on that left calf, landing some significant strikes there with that leg. And you know what we're seeing a little more? Nice kick there from Davis, but we're seeing Yusuf kind of faint and reach and, and, and play with the mind a little bit of Davis. Right, little, little stutter step. Davis was starting to do that in round one, and he's completely abandoned that. I think he's just hesitant because he's felt the power of Sadiq. He's always just waits, he's patient. He's not breathing heavy at all right now, mind you, either. If you look at the face of Yusuf right now, not look at that. Bit. He is dialed in right now. Well, his mouth is closed. He's not even breathing he's through his mouth. He's not even breathing right now through his mouth. Look at his eyes, too, man. That, that tells you a lot about where a fighter is. He is just stalking him right now. He's the one on the fence, but he's in control. Under 2.30 to go here in the second round. Super City hey! Yusuf. An impressive first round. Both fighters hey, coming out swinging yes. in the second. Get right back. This is where Davis has got to let go. When he's got Sadiq backed up against the fence. He's got to let his hands go. He needs to get on that. That's what he needs to use. Oh, man, both guys are straight jabs.
much more pressure, though, from Davis. Oh, yeah. He's a very comfortable operating with, the, with his back yeah. to the fence. He likes to counter with that right hand and that kick. That's what he wants Davis to do. He wants him to overbear and step on that lead leg. And that's when he puts the weight down and he can chop the cat. Push. And that's straight right. Just the way right there on the turn two from Davis. Davis thinking about that calf kick already after. Yeah, I, I, so I just think he knows that as he stalks right now, he knows how quickly Yusuf can counter too. So he's just got to be his again. Another big leg kick. And for anybody watching that, obviously most people haven't felt a calf kick or know like I can tell you when even the ones that don't look like much, they devastate the muscles in your calf. They start cramping, and every time you step. You can't put your weight on, or you have no spring in your step. It's a very smart technique that a lot of fighters are using. Well, especially lately, right? In the last few yeah, years, this wasn't like, something that was prevalent 10 years ago. It's like the, there's trends in MMA, like anything, like any sport, like any fashion. And that's the trend right now. Is we're, we're evolving as a sport. We're learning what things work. Spinning back kick, glancing off Yusuf. Both guys definitely slow down here. Two good exchanges. Still a great fight. But you can see that they went for it in round one. Let's get back. Let's get back. Back on the cage. Now just to Harris. We're under 20 seconds to go here in the second round. That could have been huge for Davis, too, if he could have secured a takedown at the end of the second round. And then maybe he knows I got to come out in the third. If I get him down, maybe I can ground and pound or get a sub. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Hey. And that last kick. Right before the second round, pumps to the game, okay? flow. And this is just the opening of this second round. Both guys come out chucking leather. Big uppercut there from Davis. But you see, it's just, man, anybody that lands clean, both guys are kind of glancing off the shoulders a lot. A little bit of a stumble from guys. But the story of this fight so far, really, other than these big punches, Sadiq has been attacking the lead leg of Mike Davis, and I do think it's affecting him. How would you how would you score that round? Yeah, yeah, That's a tight one. I mean, obviously round one yeah, I give to Sadiq, but three rounds the before. pressure from With Davis. With fucking Denton, Richie Denton. Let's go. Right, there, Let's go. That's all right. It ain't over. You gotta move your hand. Get your fucking shit. Cut your angle. Throw your jab. Cut your angle. Then work back. Walk yes, him. Give me all that back. Yes, all that shit you do every day in the gym. Don't give him nothing. Let's go. Could be one apiece, but I think Sadiq still did enough damage to, to steal that round. Throw the jab, cut the angle. You like that advice in the corner from Mike Davis? Yeah, and I, I would tell him start checking that damn kick, too. Final you round, can't be too many of those calf Final kicks. You ready. You're not going to have any pop on your punches. And I would say still to look for the takedown. If you think he's the better wrestler, that work. Yeah, that's another smart thing. Give him back some of your own. These guys just showing really, really High level striking from both of these guys. Even that, Mike Davis slip, slip, and block that that right hand from from Yusuf. But Yusuf obviously had that that first round. Davis may have had the second. Should we be seeing more urgency from Davis? Absolutely, here? absolutely, yeah. He's doing a good job moving forward, but he's still a little hesitant to throw his own hands. Maybe he doesn't have to. Maybe Davis should start relying on some of his kicks. But he needs to put the pedal on the Yeah, ass. see how he slipped there? That, that's great work, but he's got to come back with something. And that's that's so much easier said than done for anybody who's never boxed. You're going into the fire. Every time you slip and come back, you don't know what that other guy is already going to throw behind that that jab. So it's, it's a scary thing to do. But to, to land the knockout, that's what you've got to do. You've got to slip and you've got to come back with your own punches. Well, and if you're Sadiq here, you're thinking what in the third round? If I'm Sadiq, I'm thinking I'm probably ahead, but I, you don't know, and this is not the show where you want to coast, right? Dana White was already standing for you guys. That leg kick just hurt Davis bad. He immediately shot off of that takedown, or, or excuse me, off of that leg kick. If I'm Yusuf right now, I'm jab, faint, going leg kick. And that's exactly what he just did. And Davis immediately tries to tie him up. Yeah, Davis in this clinch. You guys are looking for that knee. Try to touch that chin. Do anything. 
Just over three minutes to go here in the third round. An incredible first round from Mike Davis and Sadiq Youssef. Good second round, slows down just a little bit. Mike Davis needs to try and pour it on yeah. here in the third round to get the win. Another big leg kick uh, on the back leg. Oh, one more. Oh, he's hurt. Youssef's got to go for it right now. He's limping around. Lands another That's it. one. One more. He switches stance. Go for the overhand right right now. He's in his opposite stance. He has no defense from here. If you're not a natural southpaw and you're just trying to protect your lead leg, you have no defense for the right hand right now. And that's Sadiq's power punch. Right there. Right. Yep. You called it, he landed it. Right, man. That's why that's why you paid the big bucks. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, might, I might have trouble doing it myself in the octagon. Uh, I don't sometimes, think so. But I can see it. <laughs> not from what I've seen, my friend. Just over two minutes to go here in the third round. Mike Beast Boy Davis undefeated coming in, switches his stance, limping around here, trying to survive. Sadiq Yusuf with the left looking for the finish. Yeah, he's, he's, I'm telling you, he's looking to set up his right hand. It's just a little different now because now he can lead with it as well because Mike Davis has switched to a southpaw stance. Beautiful. Yeah, Davis can shake his head all he wants, but he felt it. Yeah. I mean, this. Yeah, and that's what we're seeing. You know, one of the things we're seeing here is the way that Sadiq is mixing it up. Obviously, he's got the big right hand that we know about, but he's landed that leg kick. That was a smart game plan, and I bet that him and his coaches really saw something in Davis that they knew he had a very good boxing style. And what happens when guys are heavy? Ooh, beautiful body kick there. He knew he would be heavy on that leg, and they attacked him. Uh, one of the things that we questioned about Mike Davis coming in here, certainly not his power, but the quality of his opponents, Sadiq Youssef by far. Has been in here with fought. guys like Mike Davis. Absolutely. Whereas Mike Davis hasn't quite been there with anybody on the level of Sadiq Youssef. And that's a learning experience as we're under a minute to go here in the third round. Yeah, this is when Davis has really got to start thinking about the things he's fighting for and go for it right now, man. He's hurt. He's got to find some motivation and just swing. You got to swing at this point. You, you're down for sure on the scorecard. Well, you have to go for broke here as we're yeah. under 40 seconds. Sadiq Yusuf just refuses to let him do that as he lands another calf kick. Davis really struggling here just to stay on his feet. Getting the leg. Wrong with it, yeah. Reminds me of you with the arm a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Ooh, nice head kick there from Sadiq. Looks like Davis is going to survive it, though. I mean, there's no doubting his toughness or his skills, but he's just a little bit outclassed tonight. First time in Mike Davis's career that he has gone the distance, and it looks like it would be the first time in his career that he loses. What an impressive performance by these two. My goodness. Let's take a look at the replays. I mean, just from the opening of this round, these guys were absolutely bombing punches. And not only were they bombing them, they weren't sloppy. These guys showed great technique. They set things up. They went to the body. They went to the head. They attacked the legs. And this is where Sadiq crushed him with the big right hand over the top. This is that chopping, just short, tight little left hook. And he almost went in for the finish. And the thing that hurt Davis most throughout this entire fight wasn't even the punches, but it was the really well-timed leg kicks from Sadiq Youssef, which we saw over and over through round one, two, and three. And it was finally in the third round. This one really hurt Mike Davis, forced him to shoot. And this is the one where I thought maybe this fight was almost over, but that's when Davis switched his stance, showed that he's a warrior, and got through the fight. Sadiq Yusuf out of Bladensburg, Maryland, trains with James Vick. 13 and 1, James Vick, by the way, helping him get ready for his fights. Let's send it to Laura Sanko in the octagon to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this bout 30 27 for your winner by unanimous decision, Sadiq Yusuf. And there you go, 7-1 as a pro now.